Hi there folks, we're looking this week at five reasons that Christians meet together. Now, as I said yesterday, the intention of these videos is not to make the case that all Christians should be meeting together uh, in the present situation, the present crisis and everything that's happened. Uh, we recognise that different individual Christians will have uh, different factors in their lives, different approaches to this whole thing, uh, and different churches will have different approaches too. And we're teaching our church to be considerate to one another and be gracious to other churches as well and we want to pray for other churches and encourage them in what they're doing as a church ourselves we've begun to meet together uh, outside in a marquee uh, in the church grounds as it happens and we're also uh, online as well we're just doing both for now through this what we call the messy middle part uh, of the crisis but five reasons Christians meet together. Uh, there's been such a, a, a hoo-ha, if you like, about Christians meeting together, such a fuss, such an attempt to substitute meetings by creating stuff online, by having Zoom meetings and all of that. And then now Christians trying to work out gradually how they might begin to meet together uh, again. If you're an outsider looking in, you'll have noticed all of this. Why, why are Christians so uh, excited about, wound up about uh, meeting together? Well, the first reason we saw yesterday, uh, because we worship God, we want to worship God. Uh, but there's another reason, a second reason why Christians want to meet together and it's learning. Worshipping and now learning. Uh, we, we believe in this great God that I've spoken about, the one that we want to worship. And because we want to worship him, we want to know him and we want to learn about him. In the early church, uh, we hear in the account of the early church, they, the Christians, devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to teaching, to, to Bible teaching, because we want to be a people who are learning, learning about our great God. Later on in that account of the life of the early church, the early church leader Paul says that he ha had not hesitated to teach them everything, teach them the whole thing, everything that they might need to know. All of the Bible for all of God's people. Uh, we want to be a learning people. And that's part of why we meet together, so that we can learn together. A church it ought to be a place where all sorts of people can come and learn about God. And uh, though the focus is on uh, building up Christians and teaching them the truth and Christians learning, there is a massive expectation in the Bible that all kinds of people will gather in those gatherings. Young people and uh, people who are inquiring, people who aren't uh, necessarily Christians themselves, but they want to learn a bit more uh, about uh, what Christians believe and, and this God that they worship. So the second reason Christians meet together, because we want to learn about our great God.